Hey folks, welcome to the channel. You know, Porsche is doing some marvelous things. We're talking about something really nice. They're taking the, the beautiful Taycan and they're taking the interior and they bring it to the SUV. Can you believe this? This instrument cluster is gonna be fully digital. This is also gonna include a 911 steering wheel. This is just a few things. Now, April 18th is supposed to be the big day of the Porsche Cayenne. This means that Porsche is going to be teasing and bringing up all this nice stuff, this groundbreaking equipment. They're competing with the likes of Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and the boy. I mean, what we have here is just something phenomenal. This Porsche driving experience, which includes this 12.6 inch instrument cluster and the central analog tachometer, this is going to be awesome, folks. I love the way the Porsches look. Their design is just something next to none. And this is highly interesting. And a lot of people who love Porsches and own Porsches, which one day I hope that to be me, this is just fantastic, folks. Everything about this car, including the RAV limiter, is right in front of you. And the same thing with the new Porsche Cayenne. This interior, phenomenal. Now, depending on the trim level, it's going to be up to seven seven different views that they offered for us to look at. This is the first one. The simplified view, the basics, as well as the classic mode, the display, the digital version, the, the five circle instrument cluster that we see here. It's just phenomenal. You talk about the RAV counter, the navigation, the optional night vision, front and center. That boy, I mean, man. I mean, just look at that. The shifter is right there. You got the park. The button right there to up and down you can uh, actually a lot of people look at this thing think about a you know that you're shaving your beard or something like that that's what that looks like but it is still phenomenal and it has that porsche um type of signature that makes it makes it makes it really nice i don't know if you remember when you get inside of a porsche the key ignition is always on the left side because when you're racing you hop in and it makes it quicker. And Porsche is keeping up that by putting the shifter on the right side, which doesn't make no big deal. They put it on the left, it would look quite weird. But at the same time, it is something different than putting it in the middle, you know, in the middle where the armrest is and putting the shifter there, putting it there. It's just something totally, totally different. Now these images that we see here is phenomenal. Let's just go through them right quick. I mean, this is phenomenal, their design. You know, you, you, you even see they're giving us a teaser of what the Porsche Cayenne is going to look like on the back. And that interior, in the, even the passenger gets that. And I remember way back in the day when Ferrari had the, uh, I'm trying to think of another one. It was a two-door coupe, but it had a back seat. And it was the, um, my brain is thinking about it and thinking about it, but Ferrari came out with this design way in the beginning when they put the, they put a partial of the instrument cluster in front of the passenger. And now all the automotive manufacturers have caught on to this. Lamborghini has caught on to it. Uh, Mercedes and all the rest of them are following suit, giving the passengers something to do. And just uh, being a navigator means being able to look you know, just to look at what the car is doing, how it's performing. So this is different. The infotainment system, the central infotainment system that we see here in the Porsche, the navigation system. This, I don't know, it's just something phenomenal. And it's, it's really something to keep you active and to keep the passenger active. And it's just something about it. When you look at the instrument cluster and you look all the way across to the right and you see everything just right in your face. And then, then you have here the circles, the rav liver in the middle, the G, you know, the G forces. I mean, this is just, it's just something fantastic, folks. Now, a new steering wheel, which is borrowed from the 911, this is quite pleasing and it's quite functional. The driver mode selector controls, the head-up display, the toggle buttons for the instrument cluster, mounted onto the wheel. This just 
uh, gives it that fantastic appearance. And you got the grab handles. So when stuff just don't go <laughs> right, you got something to hold on to. And you have all the different buttons. This is, uh, again, the Porsche Taycan. It just, you know, comes across. This just comes across and it, it's cool that they can, that they're making it go from brand, from the SUV to the Taycan to the sports vehicles. This is something phenomenal, folks. The new interior is not just about technology. Porsche claims that this design emphasizes the width making the uh, interior feel a lot more roomier. I remember a lot of times my wife always complains about not having a place to put her purse. And in the Porsche, I don't think they've made a difference. There's still not going to be a place to put your Porsche, your purse in the middle. Perhaps you could put it in the armrest. I don't know how much room is going to be offered there. But still, <laughs> hey, I always say put it between my legs when I'm sitting in the passenger seat. And I'm sure a lot of spouses say the same thing. But then this is still phenomenal. Now, Porsche calls this facelift, the other coming Cayenne, a new car. Now, it's going to launch this a three plug-in hybrid derivatives with a new chassis too as well. Now the facelift is so substantial that the internal combustion engine powered Cayenne and the SUV swaps the Porsche modular PPE platform. It goes fully electric by 2026. Now Porsche is gonna introduce the all new electric Halo SUV that's gonna be above this baby here. And there's some, some phenomenal, phenomenal things are happening with Porsche and I also remember they're coming up with synthetic fuel and I wonder where that's going to lead and where that's going to take us in automotive manufacturing, um, making up uh, synthetic fuel. Something awful, something awesome, folks. Porsche's doing it big. And guys, this interior is just nice. Second to none. I mean, phenomenal, folks. Thanks for watching. Ayo Curatrix and have an awesome, awesome day.